Margavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakea Galadirithin, the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on with our campaign with the Vale of the Anduin. You join us again, of course, at the height of our invasion, of the enemy's invasion, I should say, as they continue to plunder the lands around Breer and Holt. Now, what you should also now see, if I have done this correctly from previous, is I have fixed that little bug, little UI bug that is gone. So the Hero Shrine now shows up properly in Castles for the Wild Men, <clears throat> which is nice. Nice little, nice little bug fix. Slip that one in. It is in Dane's Halls as well. Right, I think we're at an end turn again, so... Oh, actually, what I was yes, going to do Lord. is... Oh, no, if that's only got two turns, we'll just seize that out. I was going to attack there, but for the sake of two turns and for the making them on the defensive rather than us, I will just wait. All of our archers can be retrained to have an extra experience point, thanks to the presence of the Master Hunters Guild. Hmm. Now that has actually been rewritten from the original guild, what the description of the original guild was said. Because I went through and did a huge guild overhaul quite some time ago. Version 0.5, I think, has the guilds, not let alone 0.52. So the guilds have been rewritten, but that one is still reasonably generic. Because they can, um, you can actually have a unique description of a building for every faction. So every single faction could get exactly the same building, and it, it could have a different name and description for all the factions. The files allow you to do that. Unfortunately, you can't give them all a unique picture. That you can give unique pictures dependent on a faction's Order. culture, but not a faction, not individual factions, which is, which is annoying. But um, you can change the names. So if we wanted, of course, you could call um, barracks and um, muster hall and all of those different things. They could have different names for the orcs and whatnot. But most of the time, it's just not worth making that change. Right, we've got quite a bit of money to play with. Does anywhere need anything especially important? Falkton. Um, communal farming, please. That will be uh, useful there. Of course, we won't actually have too many towns to play around with. You don't have very many people, so you could potentially get some growth. Meithelberg. We could build a port, get some, which gives us good trade. I think we will. We'll use that large income to get that into a, to a focus on economy. Now we have to deal with Captain Lagthak, who you. is coming for Gleowine, so we will keep the defenders there for a time. Maybe we will take some of the 25 provinces we need from the, um, the realm of Angmar, but we are still just waiting to find out how the this siege is going to go. Of course, if you remember from the last episode, the chieftain of Hrad and his faction heir are both present in the main army that is sieging Breer and Holt. So if we can get them to attack us, which they might do now this time, we can kill off their leader and faction heir in one battle with the very cheeky placement of some stakes. But first, we must take Ostin Gael and tighten the noose around the neck of Dol Guldur. And we're in 23. We'll worry about a name soon. Captain Naglug has not got very many units, and we have got good units. I will use almost, Attack! in fact I will just use our bodyguards here and our archers. The bodyguards should be able to shred that meager force of Dol Guldur. Of course this campaign has been tainted because Kamul is locked. And because he's the faction leader he keeps an army always near him so that he doesn't die too easily. But on the flip side it has left the enemy quite weak. Because they've spent the entire time, they've spent the whole campaign defending their leader who has barely left Dol Guldur. So. Which is annoying. Because it's not given us a true representation. Right, I realise that they are actually javelin men. So they're going to have no effect whatsoever. The Sons of the Fallen I would like to keep out of it ideally. Because they're very difficult to retrain and maintain. And they're so powerful it's worth keeping them back for when something important actually happens. We'll run our cavalry over there as well. Let's speed it up and zoom in. Ah, oh, you want to see what they look like, don't you? There they are. The Sons of the Fallen. 
the dwarves' greatest unit, armed with their spear sword thing, their red flowing co cloaks, and the slight Roman inspired helmet, which I think works really well. And then, of course, the armor from the Hobbit. Alright, the enemy is here. Cavalry, I was hoping they'd come out this side, and the cavalry I was going to send in on any archers that they use. And they probably will use archers, so we'll use a combination of our bodyguard and the cavalry to deal with the threat. Some well placed charges. If we continue like this, oh, we will don't smash pause. The oh, crime in at least. Welcome back. Germanicus's AI is giving me no end of problems. That that where the game just freezes for no reason. That's a problem with the 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 battle, pr the processing behind the scenes of the battle. Something has run into a problem, and rather than just crashing to desktop, it just freezes because it just does not know how to handle it. And it's very irritating. It's very annoying. But it's rather easily circumvented. Well, it's not rather easily circumvented, I should say, because it's happened quite a lot, but um, it won't end the game, that's what I mean. It's not a, it's not an, a crash if to desktop that will like mean this, that you can't complete that campaign. Right. Turn it off at time six. I want a really solid charge here, please. Oh, who's shooting them? Oh, the mercs the hunters are. Ah, oh, you disappoint me. There we are. It's a good charge. And they've dealt with the archers now. The bodyguard should be slaughtering whatever they come across here. Taking care of the Good archers for us. The enemy general lies dead. Oh, the enemy general lies dead. Only half the enemy force remains. Are there are two units of archers over there. Yeah, there are. Have you caught them all yet? Stop fannying around. There we are. There's the new Dol Guldor flag. I've yet to change it to the one with the eye in. Oh, you're useless, aren't you? This is an elven village as well. This is what an elven village looks like. Quite reminiscent of the... Teutonic faction in Age of Empires 2, actually. When I look at that, there. The way that their top goes. Ah, there we are. No need to needlessly kill the cavalry, actually. They're not amazing in Our melee. Men are in command of the city. We awed by the skin changes, of course, will heal soon. Today. Jolly good show, old chaps. Simple victory. Well assured. And on we march. Toward Dol Guldur. Amunlank. The Hill of Sorcery. Sauron's Summer Retreats. Call it what you will. Glory. It will be in our hands. Victory. That I swear. We must make a stand. Ah, we yes, Harad. Please, join us. We have plenty of opportunities to slay you. Oh, you've brought someone else with you. Foolish, foolish decision. I am so praying that this stake battle will kill this faction off. And Haven Master Kusai has got a full army of Umbar's worst possible units. The pikemen, as we've seen in my Umbar campaign, can hold their own. They're not too shabby. But an army of Corsairs is not going to do a lot of damage. So, again, we should have a solid victory here. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! That we hope for, anyway.
the Veilsman March. Four. Foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in Exclamation mark. Righty ho. Ah, oh, brilliant. We've got time to place the stakes and then run away. But here we go again with the fun little battle that we've been having every single time. Placing stakes. There we are. Who's coming from where, actually? Oh, that's yellow. That's Umbar. Yep. So Harad, then, are coming from the right-hand side this time. So we want to make sure that we get... ...their leader. On. I know that you can do what I'm telling you to do. They don't like that archway, do they? Like that should have us covered. And then we'll again come around this right-hand side. Now, I'm quite tempted to actually hold our units here, because the hill's not as steep, so our archers will get a good shot into the enemy. It's just we killed so many of our own troops when we fought here. We shot so many in the back. And when we were here... Um, the enemy did group up, yes, but then they were pushing themselves round. So I think I will group up here. So we're going to want everyone, basically, except for them and them, to come here. Is that everyone? Oh, yes, it is. Right, the two units of cavalry, though going to go and bait. Oh, actually, we don't need to use both. Um, ah, but we will. We will. Gonna stand yourselves over there. Okay. Start battle. Pause battle. Oh, actually, I need to take them out of this first, don't I? Are they the only pikemen? Yes, they are. Don't do that. Likewise, don't do that. And do you... Oh, you're not anyway. Okay. So. Pikemen. Got to go right to the wall because they're going to try and squeeze through. As they have done every time now. Oh dear, we have so few numbers. We really have nothing. Our army is almost solely archers here. Trackers, form up behind there. You form up there. Can I get you to form up there? Yeah, sort of. Hobbit archers! Should get plenty of kills. Bastard wait at the top. And three bodyguards, I'd like you to also wait near the top. And then you're going to stop anyone from running over there. So that should be everyone placed. Let's move over to our cavalry. Want them to come down the hill a bit. You guys can get any arrows that you can get off already. Oh, come on! Okay, welcome back. This is the fifth attempt I have now done to play this map. Now I think I know why Leo removed this from his own mod. I don't think it's anything to do with odd bugs related to um, the settlement and not being able to rally out or anything like that. Um, I've tried, as I say, this is my fifth attempt after that initial crash. And the problem I was having is that if I ordered my army to move into a certain position it would auto crash regardless i tested it in every type of way so i tested to set them up here three times and every single time it crashed i had them all positioned at the top and then i set them all up where i wanted them to go and they'd all walk into position and as soon as i unpaused the game it immediately crashed so then i tried anything that i could i then tried moving them to a sort of this area because I thought it might be something to do with this path. Like this wall here might be causing some sort of odd crash. 
but again, it just crashed immediately. So then I thought, right, is it just my army moving? So I, at the start of the game, when you're in the deployment phase, I just put everything here. I started the game, I paused it, and then I just double-clicked randomly out here, selected every unit I've got like that, and then just double-clicked outside the city walls. And immediately again, it crashed. And I unfortunately have never come across a bug like that, and I think it's entirely related to this system and the drain it is take it is basically demanding of my computer. Which is odd, because I've never had a crash like that before, and I turned my graphics way down. But for whatever the reason, if I ordered my entire army to move alongside the Umbar and Haradrim forces, it, it was just crashing. It gave me nothing in the crash log. It gave me no information elsewhere. I'm afraid I have no idea what caused it. But I'm back and I'm here now. <laughs> I mean, for you, no time has passed. But for me, 30 minutes have passed trying to get this to play it again. And we're finally at a point where we're actually going to play. This is what I wanted to do. I've got units at the bottom of the hill and then archers going all the way up the top. And my cavalry stand ready on the other side and the enemy is about to hit the stakes. Now, I would certainly chalk this down to the fact that this save game did not come from this build. As I say all the time and I must get very bored of hearing me say it now. But um, that is why I think it is crashed. Oh no, look, Chieftain Kazimar made it out alive. So I would not be surprised if this battle map crashes again, unfortunately, is, is the moral of that little story. Right, Chieftain Kazimar just survived. Him and the one man next to him. Oh, don't be on time six. Ah, oh, and we're in a place where they, it's counting these as settlements, so I'm getting caught up in them. Oh, archers, group up. Defensive mode, don't fire at our men. Stop firing now, in fact. Oh, actually, only they had three generals, didn't they? And only one has been killed. So where's the other? Or is that a different one? Ah, oh, Cheating Kazima did die, and so did Norfolk. So that was just their other random... That was just the third guy. So, Harad have lost their faction leader and faction heir, regardless of how this battle now goes. And the enemy will come in force now, so you can turn yourselves back onto that. Don't be wasting your arrows now, though. Oh, you're joking me. You stop, you stupid idiots! Let's just slaughter all our own men for a laugh for a while, shall we? Oh, no, now you can fire at will. Don't fire at anything, but now start firing at something. Okay, let's pop it on times two and just wait and watch as our archers hopefully destroy the enemy as it groups up at this wall here. Of course, Umbar, we did not, we will not have killed any of them with the stakes. They had no cavalry. And Harad, the bodyguard, were the only cavalry units that were there were in their army. So we will likely see a lot more we will see almost all of Harad's force come against us, but they they will now break really quickly. But it's Umbar where the enemy and the real threat lies. I don't think we're going to hold Breer and Holt. I'll say that again quite happily. I think all of these units are going to die. But we're going to claim so many enemies and against the walls. And I'm just blooming pleased that it's working again. I could have recorded an entire another episode in the amount of time I spent trying to just get this settlement to work. But I do honestly put it down to um, the fact that I put this save game into this new build. I think that will have cocked up a lot of stuff. That has certainly screwed up a lot of features here and there. Uh, but also a large part of it probably is just this settlement. So if you do play this settlement, just be cautious, be wary. It might be a little buggy. But it's running fine now. I mean, it's stressing out. It's l there's a little bit of screen lag. Um, or FPS drop, frame rate drop, as it's called on a computer. Um, but it's still sort of handling it. But I, yeah, I think it, it must just be the map, unfortunately. But in Leo's mod, he turned this back into just a generic dwarven settlement, and I just think that's really boring. Changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost. Right, this certain. one's way more fun. If it works, <laughs> I suppose. Oh, that <laughs> that wall thing is so nice. If they're going to stay there and not do anything, you could shoot them, really. Hit those Southron pikemen. 
good. Pikemen are a big threat. Only half the enemy force remains. You, you and you can come out of group because you are about to no longer have any arrows left. Fastred, are you firing straight down or are you arcing your shots? Oh, even he's firing straight down. This hill is a brilliant placement. They're breaking through though. The hobbits are actually going to have to fight. Keep it up, keep it up. Now where is their general? Has he joined in yet? Yes, there he is. They're the threat, the narrow and arrows. But we have got three skin changers standing ready atop the hill. I think it's probably going to be a good idea to run you down the hill now, actually. Because ideally, we do not want the hobbits getting involved in fighting, because they're rubbish. Pull yourselves away. And let the bears come in. Even in defensive mode, they're still strong. Oh, we've lost a lot of our defenders. We've got too many archers and not enough melee troops. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Their archers are still going strong, though. Charge yourselves in. The narrows, where are the narrows? Oh look, there's um that is Haven Master Kusai. He has Kuzaimar's unique battle model. Golden armor and two swords. He's just strolling his way up. He's walking so casually, look at him. Not a single F was given by this man this day. Oh he's joining in battle now. Someone knock him on the chin, go on. Oh, you can fire at will again now. Stop trying to arc. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. The woodman trackers we don't want to lose at all. I'd much rather lose hobbits before I lost woodman trackers, actually. But they've only got a few arrows left. In fact, they have now run out of arrows, so you are certainly last resort. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've totally forgotten. Our own cavalry, come on! Now is the hour. We can charge them into the into the back of the enemy. They are now also complete. See, why is it now letting me move troops? I'm so cautious now. I'm expecting a crash at any second. Which is really irritating, because if it does crash again, it will crash midway through. You can't load up from halfway through the camp, through the battle. Cavalry is moving out. Oh, they're swarming. They're swarming through. Where have they suddenly got Battle such seems a to be swinging in our favor. fight from? From such tidings does victory emerge. Hobbit archers! Don't really want you involved in the fighting fast. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Off you go. What's the situation up here? Heavy because this isn't the most annoying thing you've ever seen in your life. Ah, oh, this camera. They're heading for the square again, aren't they? If 
we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. They are literally just charging back to the square. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Right, all of her out are running. Surely there can't be that many left. They've got Naru and Aru Royal Archers and they've wasted them. If they are going to come back up here, then we must send someone back up here. I didn't tell you to stop moving, come on. Where's the general? over here. There's only four of the general's bodyguard left. Oh, our unit got slaughtered. Did they run into some pikemen? I think they must have done. Yeah, every time they hit those pikemen they're getting killed. We'll just shoot them till they get to the top of the hill then. Oh, well done, men. Well done indeed. Right, all that remains is their elites. Let's get the skin changers back over here. They'll be able to deal with it now. The cavalry will replenish. And they've certainly done their task. This leaves only Run and the Misty Mountains. Go and capture that idiot. The enemy general lies <laughs> Oh, they did it straight away. The crows have his miserable bow. The enemy army flees the field. What's Pursue left? Pursue and run them down. Oh, we don't need to continue, actually. Thinking about it. Because the this army will disband. There's no one left to control it. And there's nowhere for it to run. There are no allies nearby. Which is another curious Med 2 mechanic. If you don't have an allied border within a reasonable distance to flee to, your army will just get wiped out. It will just be killed. Never really understood that one. There are two of them left. And they're gone. Perfect. Now please, oh well if it crashes on me now it doesn't matter. I've at least shown that I can win it so I can cheat to win it. We have the victory. We've killed thousands yet again. 616 the woodman trackers 640 from the store hunters ah oh, the archers really do totally dominate on that map but now we need more melee troops to keep to, give, to block the enemy so the archers have something to shoot at but as i say the eastling army will be cavalry heavy and we can drop them with stakes please tell me that defeated harad please tell me that defeated harad Haven Master of Umbar is dead. Chief Nifarad is dead. New mission. Send an emissary to clans of Ened White. Oh, no. Harad, continue on. Train. Anything you can. <laughs> if there's any... Like, these two are the only invading armies left, aren't they? Ah, uh, Dol Guldur and Mordor. But our army is down here in Austin Gyle. So we could ship some reinforcements back if we could ship some reinforcements. I'm just going to save it just to make sure. I'm also uh, going to end the episode on this turn. Uh, give it give it a blooming rest. Piece together the numerous... Oh, I didn't know Mount Gleowine was besieged. The cheeky buggers. Right, well, we've got to deal with that threat now. Yes, my lord. Let's get out there and build some towers, men. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over the land. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. I'm on sight over my new domain. Your orders, my lord. Concealing the troops by your order. This tower will keep vigil. Yes, my lord. That look doesn't really work anymore, does it? Because all of the generals now look like that. So that should really be the standard general's bodyguard. And then the faction leader maybe should look like that just to make the faction leader stand out. Right. 
I am going to try and march the army that we've just trained here, leaving behind the bodyguard. We can't... And then try and get them to the mountain before yes. it's besieged again. We can go no further today. Not a hope in hell that we're going to be able to do that, but we can try. Falkton, train some crappy units to send with you. Oh, you're going to take so long to even just train those. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, hello. You can count on me. Talatharden. Talith Arden stands ready in the forest there. Good, we good, good, good. Ah, oh, they've taken the reaches of Mirkwood. That's Dor Lingvar. Oh dear, Dolgaldor really are doing poorly. Very poorly indeed. That's phenomenally good news. That means we don't even have to worry about them anymore. But anyway, I will end the episode there so I can go and sort out some problems with it. Um, and also because that's at the right time limit for me. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I am Arik Hergaladirithin, I'm the head of Divide and Conquer. I am, of course, still away until June. But thank you for watching this episode, and I do hope you've enjoyed it. So until we speak again, dear friends, Navarna den pedemad melunin, and farewell.